Renovation of June-bearing strawberries is one of the most important tasks to ensure long-term health of the plants. If properly renovated, June-bearing strawberry plantings can be productive for several years. Renovation should take place as soon as possible after harvest is finished. In fact, many growers say that when the last picker is in the last row, you should be right behind them with your renovation equipment. The basic steps in renovation are mowing off the tops of the strawberry plants, incorporating fertilizers, narrowing the rows, and if desired, applying pre-emergent herbicides. Let's take a look at each of these steps. It's important to mow off the leaves on your June-bearing strawberry plants because this is an opportunity to, uh, for the plants to renew themselves. You're taking off the old worn out leaves uh, when after mowing. It's of course gonna send up new leaves and send out new daughter plants. If you've had uh, disease issues, some of the, the leaf scorch and the leaf spot type diseases, this is a chance to mow them off and they're just incorporated back into the soil to rid yourself of those disease issues. Here is a, uh, a row of June bearing strawberries that we're going to mow off. And so what we want to do is mow it at the proper height. And that is important. You want to remove these leaves, okay, and part of the stem. But yet you don't want to cut into the crown of the plant, which is very close to the soil surface, okay? So you have to make sure that your mower is set at the right height to mow at the proper height so you don't injure the plant. You are stressing the plants regardless, but you don't want to stress them anymore and you have to. Depending on your production system, you can choose conventional or organic fertilizers to apply during renovation. A soil test should be taken about a week into the harvest season to inform what nutrients should be added at renovation. So after mowing off the tops of the plants, you want to apply the proper nutrients that are going to be valuable to your strawberry patch to going into the fall, going into production next season. Our soil tests were taken earlier in the season and the analysis and interpretations came back that we needed uh, a basic blend of fertilizer. So we're applying 19, 19, 20 of crop nutrients to our strawberry patch. After mowing, after fertilizing, and then you want to start narrowing down the rows. In most years, you would narrow down your rows, say about to eight or 10 inches wide, removing the outside mother plants, daughter plants and whatnot to narrow down the row. And at that time, you're also incorporating all the straw mulch that you've had to uh, cover your plants up for winter protection and also eliminating a few weeds at the same time. After that, you want to apply the proper herbicides. Uh, there are only a handful of herbicides that are used for June bearing production, but it's a good time to uh, spray uh, a pre-emergent type herbicide right after you're done with the renovation process. Get it incorporated with probably close to an inch of water so that will um, activate itself and prevent any weed seed germination, hopefully for the rest of the season. Generally, the best time to renovate your strawberry plants is, again, immediately after the last picker leaves. But if you can have the opportunity to pick out a cloudy, cooler day after the picking season is done, then the plants won't go through so much stress because you're mowing them off, you're narrowing them down, you're really putting them under stress. And it actually, if it's too hot, you can actually reduce your plant population because they are under stress. But uh, some of the other steps with watering and whatnot will actually rejuvenate the plants and kick them into gear for next year.